why should, should children, why should small children, why should, why should they spend 93 days in police custody when they should be in school? And the government, the government can arrest, uh, the government can arrest 10, 12, 13 year old and keep them in custody for 93 days. But the government, the government has not been able to arrest the Ibelo six months after. Is it not a parody of some sort that we have two separate countries? One country for the rich, one country for the poor. Our laws are very clear. It's 48, 48 hours. The police, the police are in breach of the fundamental rights of these children. So we, we are not going to delve into the substance of the issue, which is already before the court, so that we will not make remarks that are sub to this. But what we are saying, very simple, Yayabelo, six months later, has not been arrested. When you arrest our children, you keep them in custody for 93 days. These children, they are already, they are already looking like they have Kwashoko. They are malnourished. You understand? Then you cannot keep them in custody for this long. This is the reasons why our our rating in the human rights index is poor, is bad. You understand? The Tinubu government should discontinue the charge. We make a passionate appeal to the ATF. You know, uh, Baba Latif Fakbemi, that he should discontinue the charge. He should, should take over the matter and discontinue against these children, so that the children, so that the children can return back to school. And the authority of the federation has the inherent powers to take over this matter under section 174 of the constitution. That Baba Latif Fakbemi should take over this matter and discontinue the charge against the children. I, I cried in open court. Because of this grave injustice that we've done to this kid. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I heard very dark man had been arrested and I wasn't really bothered that much, you know. I decided not to talk about it because um, <clears throat> I wanted to get to the root of it before I would react to it. Why was he arrested, you might be asking. He made a video putting on a costume he um, designed that looks like the uh, um, Nigerian police uniform, which of course wasn't anything like the Nigerian police uniform because it was customized with his name as a badge and you know that kind of a thing. So he was now, you know, more like um, putting the Nigerian police out there in the right notes which uh, I've come to know that it was an offense to use the Nigerian police uniform to make a video. Now, this was not the Nigerian uniform. This was a customized private clothing that somebody decided to sew and wear and design it like that and then they said it was a crime. I'm hearing it for the first time. I've always known about the Nigerian army that if you use the camouflage, you'll be penalized and all that. So, but this is my first time of hearing that Nigerian police, before you use their uniform or whatever looks like their uniform, that you have to go take permission from them, get approval and blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, but that's not the reason for this video he was um, called he was invited by the police he went there they made it known to him of course he made a video apologizing for that and letting the youths know that okay we oh, should be aware too using the nigerian uniform or whatever looks like it is a is a is, a, is an offense in the constitution of nigeria then he was granted bail which he paid and left. The Nigerian police followed him home to go and they said they went for a search and rearrested him again, which was not just making any sense to me. But anyway, we all know how these things work. They are really trying so hard to shut this guy up. But I know him. He, the Rattel doesn't back down. So I'm not bothered about that, like I said. So he was rearrested. <laughs> and yesterday, he bailed, he was granted bail in court. 
which he met and he was released. Now, when he was in cell, when very dark black man was in cell, we got to find out that something horrible has been going on in that country. You guys remember when the um, uh, end the bad governance protest happened in August, right? I think August 2nd, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be before August. Okay, I think first I'll be. I don't know, but on the 2nd, since August 2nd, Nigerian government arrested 63 people in the name of they were trying to overthrow Tinubu's government, Tinubu's presidency, by using the Russian flag to demonstrate. Now, oh, this boy, 10 years old boy, right? Me and this boy, this I said. Apparently, these are the boys that the Tinubu government arrested that they were flying Russian flag. All these children were see like this now, they go prison because they could not secure bail for them. They are going to the prison now. They could not secure bail for them. Now, the question is this. What does this boy know about flag? This boy does not even have a basic education, let alone knowing that he flew a flag. So you are charging all these kids for treason. Me, I just came out of, uh, I just came out of cell and I was with them. That's the craziest part. This morning I was going to pee when I woke up. I was going to pee when I saw this boy. I was like, this boy is my children. So now we came to court. They could not grant their bail. They have adjourned the case. So where are they going to sleep? They are going to sleep beside the cell again. And already they stayed for more than 90 days. Today is the 93rd day. 93 days for all the children sitting everywhere. Today is the 93rd day. Which one? 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 Which and all the way from Kano, where they carry from? Yes, yes. From Kano. They brought them from Kano to Abuja. Where's their parents? Their parents now with the tribe. No one is serious. What is that kid? 10 years old. How old are you? Best condition. 14 years. All of them are less than 17 years old. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's not fair. Come on. Now, I don't have a problem with whatever action they chose to, uh, you know, carry out against the people who were using the, uh, uh, the Russian flag and all that. Where I have a problem as a mother is that these people left those adults that did that and went to arrest young, young, what am I saying young, young, small, small children, 10 years, 11, 12, 14. Tell me what a 10 year old is doing in Nigerian cells since, 20, since August 2nd. This is August, September, October. We have entered November. 11, 14 years. There was none of them that was more than 17 years old. Very dark man saw this small boy there and was like, wait a minute, what are you doing in the cell? then dawned on him that they've been there since 93 days. Who does that? Please see how it done in Ghana that you, you arrest small children for carrying another country flag during protests, right? You arrest small, small children that you're supposed to actually put in school and educate them about the consequences of course of doing that which i'm sure they didn't know they were just doing what they saw others doing right isn't it common sense to have at least even if it was two days use it to school them about what they did and what they shouldn't do and all that and then bring solution to whatever it was that they were protesting about is that not the wise thing to do guys but no Nigerian police arrested these people, kept them there since August, granted them bail yesterday in a very serious condition that can't be met. My notes that the Nigerian government are currently holding in detention. They said each of those minors will pay 10 million naira each, two shorties each, 
each one should be each one should be a civil servant and the other one should be a family member i.e parent or siblings the civil servant should produce employment letter last promotion letter two passport and valid id valid id of any means minors are to be remanded at a postal home while adult suspects are to be remanded at kuje now if these children get 10 10 million naira, will they protest need i remind the nigerian government that the reason why people protested is because of the hardship of the country and the fact that the Tinubu administration were not even doing anything in their power to at least remove us out of our suffering also need i to remind you people that again all these children were on a carry there's no video anywhere where they flew any flag the last time i checked now adult i see with flags do you understand? Now, adults, I see with flag, meaning say all these children, they just they follow what their elderly ones they do. They don't know any better. These children are supposed to be put in a juvenile home. You educate them, you teach them. Mind you, you pick these children from Kano. Kano is one of the states that have the worst education in Nigeria. One of the worst education in Nigeria is in Kano. All the northern states. All the northern states. Worst education. No school, they are being affected by terrorism and a lot of things that is hindering those kids from going to school. So they don't even know any better. So to think, okay, yes, you are alleging them that they flew a flag, you should educate them, President Bola and Mechirubu's government. Please, these children are minors. I sat down, I sat down with them this morning when I woke up. I was like, wait, what, the, what, what is going on? They were sitting now exactly close to the pool, that is where they slept. See the other one, don't try, and don't try, finish. And you look these children like this, I won't cry. That was why immediately I left the court when they granted me bail. I went straight to that place. Straight, because I wanted to be sure that I was not crazy. That this government only really locked children of 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, 14 years. I didn't see anyone of 18 years. I wanted to be sure, and I went there and I was sure. They put them inside the dock. A lot of them were on the ground. I was like, what is going on? President Bola mentioned, please release these children. Please release them to their family. This bail condition is too harsh. It's too harsh. Please, President Bola mentioned, the government, please release these children to their family. Please. Each of them 10 million naira with this and this and this and this and that. that is, the very dark man made this video. Of, I, I, I've been so weak since I saw this video last night. I've been very, very weak. As in, I don't even know how to feel. I don't know how to get upset. I don't know how to cry. I don't know if I should faint. I don't know what just to do. I don't just know what to do. DJ, I beg. I beg. My mood. Give me how I feel being in Nigeria. They want to bust my head, pass. Now this interview with this man, he said he's a police, whatever, inspector or whatever he called himself. These boys that we brought to the court today, all of them are adults. Most of them are married men. None of them is a minor. Some of them are university graduates. The small, small kids you are seeing here, they came with some of their parents to come and greet their loved ones. They are not even the real suspect standing trial in this case. These boys were arrested in Kaduna and Zaria. Imagine the level we find ourselves now. Do, do you know how much it costs us to be at this level of a democracy in this country? These young boys are trying to destabilize Nigeria using the Russian flags and other countries calling on the military to remove our president. Is it fair to even remove the state governor that they don't want democracy again? If you don't like democracy, are we forcing you? You go back home and sit. Who mind the defense council? They will always say something to tarnish the name of Nigerian police. It's not true. I, in my own case, 
We filed charge against uh, 43 uh, defendants, and all of them were produced to the court today. All of them are adults. Forget about what they are telling you that they are small children, this and that. I am Rimam Somte Ezekiel. I'm the chief superintendent of police. Something we saw Kuru Kuru ah, for seeing children in court collapsing, looking malnourished and everything. Look at what this man had to tell us that everybody there was married men with children that the children you people saw came with their parents to greet their family members that were in court this is the abracadabra they do guru guru like they make you feel like you don't know what you they see again or you don't know what you they talk or you don't know what you they do again this is what a father came out to say in front of the camera that you should ignore that all those people, that everybody that it was only 43 and everybody there was married men with children. Oh well, these are the same children that they use to rig election. On the rich children, they pack voters' cards and give them to go and vote. People they know that are not eligible for voting, they will pack them during election so that the population will be higher. Innocent children that didn't know what they are left from their rights. And you expect them not to come outside and join the protest when you people are on the street protesting, even though they don't know what you're protesting about. They see the adults carrying flags, they carry flags. Even though the, uh, the people we saw mostly were adults, but then, is it not common sense to school children on what is right and wrong? What do they know? These children are not even in school. There are no schools for them. If they have 10, 10 million, if their families have 10, 10 million, would there have been a protest in the first place? Big shame on the Nigerian government. The only thing where they give me joy is say, I know they there again and I don't promote my children from that cursed environment. If anybody is hoping that Nigeria will get better, think twice. It will not get better. The only thing that gives me joy is because I'm here in Ghana. That is the only thing that is giving me joy. If my Ghana card expires, I go renew her with all joy. Because Nigeria, I have nothing else to say. I, I'm, it has gotten to the point I feel numb. When I see these things about Nigeria, I feel numb now. I've exhausted my anger. I've exhausted my frustration. Now I feel numb. It's a very big disgrace. Very, very big embarrassment. That a nation like that can't even care about minors. They can't even care about their children. How much more adults? So you see why everybody is on their own. In that country. I beg Nigerian government, you people should free those children, send them back to their parents, put them in school, let them get educated. At least if they have education, they will understand the consequences of certain things they should do or not do. Play your part. Let it now be that they didn't follow. Send these children to school, not prison. 